you, your brother once again, on fire for the Lord as always, staying humble, hallelujah, your brother pastor, a pastor, author, hallelujah, whatever, which one you prefer, your brother in Christ, hallelujah, we love you, we salute you, we honor you, we, we honor the Holy Trinity, it's just so amazing, as always, to belay God's holy word and speak about how awesome and beautiful and kind God truly is. Um, we're going to speak about God's love a little bit right now. What God placed on my heart, his love, it, <laughs> it transcends. If you listen to True Manor, hallelujah, we go um, into verses, a couple verses of, of God's love. Um, but his love it runs so deep that we human, humanly possible, we, we can't really comprehend it. Hallelujah. Uh, without his precious Holy Ghost to actually show us and i want to say and that's just a tad bit hallelujah so with john three sixteen, everybody is familiar with the beautiful verse of god giving his only begotten son so you know oh my god the love that the holy trinity has for us this is why the holy spirit has me do these things god commissioned me to do what i'm doing because a lot of his own people in the body really truly don't don't understand how much God really loves you. Because when you really truly get a minute revelation of that <laughs> by the Holy Spirit, it transforms your whole life. If you're dealing with anything that's not of God in your life, because you understand to a degree only by God's grace and his love and his mercy that he loves you so very much. It compels you not to do these sinful acts that you do. That in a nutshell, God love super exceeds all this stuff. You listen to somebody who used to be addicted to pornography, somebody who was addicted to lust real bad. Hallelujah. In my younger days, it's just reality. Hallelujah. But when you really start to wrap your head around that process, I say again, it's a process what the holy spirit through through the holy trinity takes you through man you start to phantom truly start thinking man all right lord i want to please you more than i want to please myself that's what it all boils down to who are you really willing to please do you love yourself more than god or you love god more than yourself think about that Tell me, for anybody who's addicted of, of anything right now, if they watching this, I know it's for somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah. Telling you. Ask yourself that. Many times, many times, many times, I'm telling you, many times, I am commissioned by God to tell you. I'm equipped to tell you these things. I'm telling you. You be addicted to stuff and people just think it's alcohol and drugs, but you could be addicted to anything and you'll be going through withdrawals because your body's so used to you doing a sinful act. Telling you, I didn't experience that. I ain't been through it. I am commissioned by God to tell you these things. But it all boils down to that, that beautiful question. Do you love yourself more? Or you do you care about pleasing yourself more than God? That's it. And when you really get that revelation through the power of the Holy Spirit, and you like, man, Lord, I want to please you more than anything else. That's when you get your deliverance. So we're going to leave you with that at Arthur Mars Ministries. We love you so very much. We salute you. We honor you. We praise God for your life. Thank you for your listening ears. Hallelujah. Face to face with your big brother for more sheer motivation. We love you. Hallelujah. God bless you.